All right, let's get started. We'll try to start on time and, and follow the agenda. You should have got like an agenda made for small eyes yesterday. Yeah, uh, that's what happens when you switch US to A4 and, and forget to increase this, the font size. But you are all young, so you don't need to see them like some of us old guys. Uh, I, I don't know. Any, no, no reason, no reason at all. Uh, welcome. I'm, I'm glad you're here. We are uh, going to use the hashtag WOPC underscore EU. So if you want to do social media and, and talk about what you see, and go ahead. We like that. Um, restrooms, I'll point correctly, out the back, around the corner over there. Uh, we'll be having uh, breaks in the morning, breaks in the afternoon, breaks for lunch. Lunch will be upstairs in the same place we had breakfast. Um, if your phone rings, good. That means you're working. Just take it out in the hall. Uh, once I was teaching a, a class in New York City, and people in Manhattan are a little different than the rest of the world, and I had mentioned if you, you know, need to take a call, go ahead and take a call. And the guy in the second row, during the middle of a lecture, takes a call, and he's obviously negotiating his condo sale. We all hear it. And he looks at me, and he goes, I meant to take the call in the hall. He's like, well, you didn't say that. So um, take them outside if you can. Power's not at the tables. Power's at the back of the room. We'll have the place, there's a little table to do your power. Uh, this is not um, one of the things, one of the tenets of the conference isn't we're not having you sit here at the place and do your work. You're supposed to be listening. So if you need power, and most of you have computers that last a couple hours, you can take tons of notes in a couple hours. If you need to recharge, there's a place to recharge in the back. Uh, partially, that's that reason. The other partial is to bring cables and power to every table is, one, expensive, and two, annoying to have power cables everywhere. And that's not what we're here for. Second, uh, the Wi-Fi here sucks. Sorry, you know, that... It's not one of the criteria when we go looking for a hotel, we don't say, yes, you have great Wi-Fi. We found from the very first, the first WPC you ever did in Austin, we were looking for great Wi-Fi. And the vendor, I won't mention their <coughs> name, um, said, this is the best Wi-Fi we have at any of our hotel properties. And so we picked the hotel because of it had this great Wi-Fi. And we got about 45 minutes into the conference before it tanked. And that was their best they could do. Not to mention, uh, there was massive amounts of pineapples going on and attacks. And the idea was, we're at a place with a whole bunch of geeks who will appreciate my hacking skills, so I'll show off to everyone else. And the result was, we had terrible Wi-Fi. So even if you try to have good Wi-Fi, you're going to have terrible Wi-Fi with this crowd. And again, that's not the purpose. We're not here to go and bit torrent and pull down a file because you just happen to be at a hotel with free Wi-Fi. So we didn't even look at it. We held a conference in Berlin a couple of years ago, and they had worse Wi-Fi than here, and the conference actually worked fine. So uh, we held some boot camps here earlier this, uh, over the weekend, and they worked even when people said, oh, yeah, I'll put this on Dropbox. I'm like, oh, but it works. Uh, the Wi-Fi is there, but it's not going to be anything stellar. You're not going to write home about it. And if you hashtag and say, Wi-Fi sucks at WOPCEU, you will be correct. Probably not a good thing for us, but that, that's totally fine. This conference isn't about me or Fernay or Matthew or any vendor. It's about you. It's about you. It's about you. How many of you, have, is this your first WOPC? Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. I guess I should ask the reverse. How many have been to WLPCs before? Oh. You can't b raise your hands for both those questions, guys. <laughs> like I see the whole crowd lift up. Um, the reason for WLPC is I like attending conferences. And I used to attend Comdex religiously every year for 20 years. And NetWorld, and then NetWorld plus Interop, and then they dropped the NetWorld, and now it's just Interop. And the whole transition, and yet every single conference was focused on the vendors, because they pay all the bills. They pay all the bills, so they get to do whatever they want. 
It's about vendor booths and about vendor sessions and about vendor, 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 vendor. And I wanted just to go hang out with my friends. And if you went to a conference, you spent most of the time just hanging with your friends talking tech. And then you'd go to a couple cool sessions and then walk the floor and hear all the vendors talk to you. So I had this idea. What if we had a conference that had no vendors? And that's a really stupid idea from a business standpoint because they're the ones who pay for everything. I said, but if, if you made one, would it work? So I happened to try one. I just said, I'm willing to throw some money at this. If it works, great. If not, and we held a conference of no vendors, just people who want to come and talk tech to each other. And we're on our ninth conference now. So it worked. I guess there's an audience of people who want to do the same things I do. So th this is about you. Um, my job here is more of this fancy word. I can't even pronounce it correctly, especially up in Portugal. Like it's it even fancier. But it's not about me being the talent. An impresario only orchestrates and gets things ready. You guys are the ones doing it all. So a quarter of you showed up for a boot camp so you could l earn a certification, learn more information over the last weekend. A third of you in this room will be presenting. And 100% of you should be engaged. This conference is about you, and it's about the things you want. The, con the content that we have, we send out in a survey. We had, oh, 50-something requests. We surveyed them out, talked took the top ones, and those are the ones that came in. The ones that came in and ranked at the top got longer time. The ones that ranked lower down got less time. That's how it works. So that's kind of what we're here for. So if you're a speaker, and that's a third of you out there, it's okay. Be nervous. You can do this if you want. Uh, other people in the audience are feeling the same thing. I just, you know, they say this thing about if you're nervous, Imagine the audience naked. I'm saying don't do that. You do not want to do that in this room. You prepared. You have skills. You had an idea. And enough people voted and said, I want to learn about what that person has to say. There are people here that want to, want to hear from what you have to say. Smile. It's supposed to be fun. Don't, I mean, if you're nervous, just get over it. Uh, some of you will be doing the first talk you've ever done in your life. Cool. Some of you have been doing it 100 times. Cool. Doesn't matter. It's whether or not we can just transfer information. Uh, summarize when you're done. Don't just like let it go. Uh, it's kind of a good idea to go. I tell you what I'm going to tell you. Then I tell you what I'm telling you. Then I tell you what I told you. That, that kind of works. But don't do this. Don't set the stage. I hate it when they do that. Yeah, this. The situation is BYOD is attaching into our networks, and so thus we must... And Like, everyone in the room knows we have BYD on our networks. We don't need to repeat it. This is not a marketing conference. We're not trying to have you sell us anything. We already know the scenario, so don't set up the scenario. We know what the scenario is. Especially for those of you who are doing 10 talks. you got 10 minutes, dude. That's it. And if you take four minutes setting up... And this is why... Sorry, just jump right in. This is why where it goes. Uh, when I was in university, I had a, um, an English professor who said, we're now, and this was years ago, she was kind of prescient at the time, thinking ahead. She goes, we're now in a, in a time when you have to present the conclusion first and then supporting material. And coming from an academic, academics has always been support, su oh, premise, support, 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 how many data points you had, conclusion. And she goes, throw the whole thing on your head, give the conclusion, and someone's reading this via email, and email's going to be the new thing. Yeah, I was, I was in college a long time ago. So she was predicting email's going to be the new thing, and it's the subject line. Put your answer there. Then put a little more detail. The detail comes after, especially in 10 talks. Start with the conclusion. Don't end with the conclusion, because you won't have time. It's about the tech. Now, I know all of you work for some company. Somebody's paying you money. It could be your own company. It could be somebody else's company. You could be an employee. You could be a contractor. You could be a VAR. I don't care. It's not about the vendor-specific pieces. It's about the technology. Now, if you're going to be talking from MIST, we know you're from MIST. Say you're from MIST. Your slides can say MIST, but that's not the reason you're here. You're not representing your company. You're representing the technology and what you know, so please share those. Um, 
Remember, if you have slides, forward them to me. Actually, the very last slide on this little section has forward them to Matthew, because I'll just take them and send them to Matthew anyway. And it's Matthew at WMPros.com. And then we'll take the video from that Ben shooting from Prime Image Media. Thank you, Ben. Um, and tie it with the presentation and post them up on our website. Part of the idea of WLPCs is to share information. Share. Free. So all of the sessions are going to be online. Um, they're all free because knowledge is like manure. You know, the stuff that comes out of the back of a cow. If you hold on to it really tight, you stink. If you spread it around, it helps things grow. So let's take the knowledge we have here and help every, other people grow. Nobody wants to stink. We're all in a single bar room. We've tried different techniques of having half the group split and go to another bar room and bring them together and take them apart and go back and forth and found the one most effective is we all sit here together. The downside of that is there might be some subjects you don't care about. The other downside is we don't get to have as many sessions because we can't have twice as many contacts. The result, though, is we came up with 10 talks. Part about 10 talks are they're only 10 minutes long. So if you're sitting here and the topic that the guy's talking about doesn't interest you, just wait. He'll be gone in 10 minutes. There'll be another one coming right behind it. So if you're not interested, just hang around. It's okay. Uh, we have 55-minute sessions. We have a couple of 30-minute sessions. We're trying to see where those go. Um, and tens. By the way, those of you talking in 10 minutes, you have 10 minutes. That's, I've got a timer over here. You'll be watching, and I'll give you the wave, and, you know, when, it, when it's your time. You can give an hour-long talk in 10 minutes. I've seen a whole bunch of them. It's not just that you talk fast. Throw the fluff away. All the parts that you're telling someone who doesn't understand the industry, you can make those go away. Just get to the meat of it. Um, so we do have some 30-minute sessions as well. We tried those in Phoenix last year. They worked pretty good. Um, the only downside is if you've got a 30-minute session, for sure you have an hour session and you have to do it in 30 minutes. It's not the other way around. We're not taking a 10-minute and trying to stretch it to 30. We still want compact, tight, as much as we can get. Uh, we have a maker session this afternoon. We have learned through maker sessions <clears throat> what not to do. Uh, we've tried a couple of techniques and had some fun, but found people's mechanical skills of assembling things were not what I thought they were. Uh, we just do one in Bogota. How long did it take? So, so, we, so for today and I practiced. We timed doing this thing. We got it down to like five minutes. And 45 minutes in, people are like, how does this screw go? You know, so, so we assembled all your, your things for you. The assembly's all done. So this time we're going to try a maker session. It's actually not a making. It's a doing session. So it's more, we'll, it should be ready, and we're just going to jump right in and do the experimental part. Uh, tonight we have two evening sessions. These are not sponsored. They don't pay us any money. They're just here. We have the room. They have the people here, and there's an audience here. So if you want to attend... They will entice you with beer and pizza or something. You know what? Something to eat and drink. And so uh, there's one at 6 with IB Wave and another one at 7 with 7 Signal, uh, both of which it's just extra free training. You, you're here. Why not? Unless you like drinking, and there's drinking here too. So you can come and, and, and do both at the same time. Last, be kind. Don't fire up your... Um, Blake, you got nothing? Okay, just, just, just check him. You know, he's got this nice little fun toy. Or if you have pineapples or porta pack Havocs or anything that can cause Wi-Fi harm, and they're kind of fun. And you're finally in an audience where people could appreciate how cool you are that you were able to do it. I mean, because you could do it at any other place and they just go, oh, man, the Wi-Fi sucks. Here, it's like, oh, that guy caused the Wi-Fi. We already have Wi-Fi that sucks. So you can't make it any worse. Don't. Don't mess with everyone. If someone's up here and you don't agree with them, don't boo. Don't throw things. We, we did have on our first one, we put uh, Nerf guns on the tables so people could shoot if they didn't like it. And it was more just if they say any vendor marketing, you can shoot them. That's okay. So <laughs> if, if they're talking and they're very marketing-based, then you can wad up paper and throw those. That's okay. But be kind. They're, they're, these are your people you're going to go have beers with later and talk to, and you know, for what I've seen in this industry for the last 16 years, you might be working for one vendor today, and you're going to work for somebody else tomorrow. 
So be kind and that will help. Just a little piece of information that I wanted to add to this is something you probably know, Maslow's hierarchy. Ever see this? It starts at the bottom. You need food, water, and as it climbs up, you get more and more things. So at the top, you're self-actualized. I, I don't really believe this because I, I believe a, an examined life is not worth living. You shouldn't examine your own life, but that's just my own personal lifestyle. But I, I think, really, it's the Wi-Fi is sitting underneath. But if you've done this for a little while, you really know that it's actually the battery. That's what we really need. Actually, this is just to set up for this thing called uh, Bloom's Taxonomy. I, I told you about Maslow's hierarchy because you'd heard about it. You might not have heard of this Bloom's Taxonomy. Anyone who's been in course development, education, it's a way of looking at how is something about knowledge transfer going to be transferred. At the bottom, we have the really simple things. You memorized A, B, C, D, and a little three-year-old can sing the ABC song. You memorize something. And then as you go higher and higher, it makes whether or not you understood it, can you apply the knowledge you had. We would like the presentations that we have here to climb this stack. We understand stacks. We live down at the layer one and layer two with Wi-Fi. From our presentations today, if you're presenting today or tomorrow, try to get as high as here as possible. We would like to help people not be self-actualized, but be able to synthesize, take information from multiple sources and say, oh, if this does this and this does this over here, what if, and then come up with a better idea. So hopefully we'll be up the stack here today in more of the evaluation. At the very top, it's how do we create new information from the old information we received? From learning theory, we're adults, we learn different than kids. So we want to tie something we knew that we learned to something we already have. Children have the ability to learn new things that just exist, and they just bloop, plop them in their head. As adults, we have to have something to tie it to. So if we can synthesize and take multiple pieces of information together, we can end up with uh, more creative pieces. So with that, um, the, we'll get these slides for you. This is just some more detail if you want to know the words to use at each one of these levels, if you use different words, we help describe things differently. So we like assembling and arranging and appraising and arguing. All the way at the top, argue. We're really good at that, huh? But in order to argue, you have to understand all the basic concepts. So that was just an idea to get us kind of started. Um, speakers, Matthew at WMPros.com, and we'll get those tied in so we can get them on the website as soon as possible. Those who can't be here like to come back and review them later. Uh, for those of you who are presenting, I don't want to scare you anymore, but they have a pretty long tail. All of the presentations we've ever had over the last nine conferences are all available online, and people keep downloading them years later. Years they'll be listening to you talk. Uh, it might make you feel good or might you feel scared either way. Uh, we're hashtag WOPC underscore EU. For those of you who uh, followed the instructions last night and didn't get drunk before you finish this, uh, maker session this afternoon, you need to have the client software loaded. We don't want to have the session, we have 90 minute session, we don't want you to spend 30 minutes of it at the beginning starting to load clients. There's instructions on Mac, Windows, Android, and iOS. You don't need all four. You could have one or two of them, anything you want. Just when we're going to be doing the, that session, if you don't have the tools loaded, it's going to be really hard to make it happen. And if all 90 of us hit the web server in this room at the same time, it won't even happen in 30 minutes. So, And have fun. That's what we're here for. Uh, again, breaks, lunch, uh, videotaping everything. Remember tonight we have uh, two training sessions at 6 and 7. Still giving you time to go. I mean, it is Portugal, so you don't even need to go eat till 11 or 12. Um, questions? Questions?